what's up believers I'm here answering your ask Eve questions you know the deal you send them to me on Twitter hashtag ask Eve and I answer them in a video blog here we are so let's go ahead and uh, get straight to the question shall we the first question is from Joker dog and his name real name is Robert Reyes jr. and his question is what is your favorite childhood movie or movies that you can watch over and over and over again uh, the first one that comes to mind is ah okay that was a really bad impression but um, Home Alone it was such a funny movie it's so cute and it's a really good family movie when I was a kid I used to love it and of course love Macaulay Culkin but um, I don't know if I'm dating myself by answering that question but no Home Alone is a good staple right so I have to say that one at least that's the first one that comes to mind I'm sure there were others um, yeah, especially as I got older. But as a kid, I, I loved Home Alone. Next one is from RKO Believer. And real name is Believer Forever. Probably not your real name, but that's all right. I tried. Um, and the question is, do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. And I used to have a dog named Dundee that I grew up with. And then uh, the truth is, I like big dogs. I don't like little small, little rat, 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 rat dogs is what I call them. No offense to anyone who has rat dogs, but um, I like big dogs, but I don't have a backyard, so it wouldn't be fair to have a uh, big dog cooped up in a little condo on the beach. So I'm going to wait until I get a backyard, but actually I lied. Technically I do have pets because I have pet pigeons. I have pet pigeons that land on my balcony all the time, and they actually last year made babies. They literally had a nest on my balcony, and um, they had babies, and we named them Harry and Sally, and Harry spelled with an R, Rary, don't ask why, um, and yeah, so I guess technically I do have pets, Harry and Sally, and they're two pigeons that fly away and come back and poop all over my balcony, really cute, yeah. Next question is um, from, let's see, uh, Lil JK2 at little jk2 and uh his real name is jerome watts and he said or he asked what were you a fan of the power rangers growing up heck yeah i was pink power ranger all the way go go power rangers um yeah the funny thing is is i actually used to like pretend like i didn't like the show but my brother would watch it so i would just watch it with him but secretly i love the show and uh i'd watch it every day when i came home Yes, I was a fan of the Power Rangers. Next question is from at Hunter2979. His name is Jared Clark. And he asked, besides Natalia, are there any male WWE superstars who helped you with wrestling training? 100% um, Fit Finley. Fit Finley is a god. And he helped me so much when I first started and pretty much every diva, you know, he's literally a god to the diva's vision. But, um, so yeah, he helped me tremendously. And then also, you know, there, there are a lot of superstars that, that actually will watch the diva's matches and believe me, not a lot of them watch them backstage, but they'll watch them and give us advice and give us feedback. Um, I'm, I know Edge always used to do that. And, uh, actually John Cena is, will always give, give, uh, the girls feedback on, on our matches and stuff, which is, really helpful really helpful so much appreciated from the male superstars who are always willing to kind of look out for the divas and give us whatever advice they may have um, next question is from Dimitri 0587 and his real name is Cronier Dimitri I think there's a lot of guys on this one actually cool and uh, his question is what are you looking for in a guy and are you seeing anybody? Ooh, ooh, now we're getting to the fun stuff, huh? Uh, well, what do I look for in a guy? For me, the m number one most important thing for a man is confidence. Confidence and not the kind that you can fake. Not the kind, like the cocky and the arrogance. Because for me, that's usually actually a sign of insecurity. It's usually a sign that you're not confident. So it's not really something you can fake. It's just something that women can just sense about a man. 
when he's really confident um, about himself and doesn't need to prove himself or doesn't need to put anyone down to make himself feel better or put women down. And it's a very rare thing to find, that's, that's for sure. Confidence number one, I'd also have to say somebody who's just passionate. Um, doesn't matter if it's about passionate about playing the flute or something, you know, as long as there's something that you are 100% passionate about, passion is a very, very sexy trait for men. And the second part of that question is, yes, that's all. So I think that's my five questions for today. Um, those are the most recent Ask Eve questions, episode number six, I think we're at. I think number six. So keep the questions coming, and uh, maybe we'll get to you know some juicy ones later. I don't know. But uh, thanks for sending them in. If you have any questions, send them to at Eve Marie Torres, hashtag Ask Eve, and I'll get to you whenever I can.